All right, so we're ready to move forward with our derivatives. Today we're going to be talking about implicit differentiation. Okay, so what's happening here is normally we have a function that looks something like this. Yeah, so we have y equals 4x cubed. When we come in and take the derivative, we say the derivative of y with respect to x is 12x squared. Simple enough. Okay, so y equals. In this case, y is our dependent variable, x is our independent variable, and our slope is our rise over run, change in y over the change in x. So when I said this, so my dy dx, this is the derivative of y with respect to x. So what's happening here, like I just said, y is our dependent variable and x is our independent variable. So when we're taking our derivative, we're looking at the change in y over the change in x. Well, can we take the derivative of y with respect to x? That is dy dx. In our normal functions, we have y alone, and it's dependent on whatever our x value is. Well, what happens if that's not true anymore? For example, what happens if I have x squared plus y squared equals 4. So now it's not a y equals anymore. We could go ahead and isolate y and take the derivative there if we're taking the derivative, but we're going to end up with two functions because of our square root. If you have questions about that, ask. But really what's happening is x and y in this function kind of rely on each other. If you remember, this is the function of a circle with a radius of 2. So if I were to do a quick sketch of this function, that's awful, I missed my 2 terribly, but it gets the point across. I want to know right now what is the slope at x equals 1. That's going to give me problems because right here is where x equals 1, I have two slopes. The reason that's happening is because our function relies on this x and y. So our derivative is also going to rely on x and y. Here, I only need to know the x value. But here, clearly I need to know which point I'm talking about, which means I need my y value. So let's see what that looks like in derivative. So here, I'm going to take the derivative, and I'm going to kind of do this a little strange if you haven't seen this before, but I think you'll understand. So right here, if I take the derivative of x squared, I'm going to get 2x, and I'm going to say, hey, look, I took the derivative of x with respect to x. So I'm going to compare the change in x to the change in x. You might be thinking, Miss Nelson, that's silly. But that's what I'm doing. I took the derivative of x, and I'm going to compare it to my change in x. Plus... The derivative of y squared, that's going to be 2y. And again, I took the derivative of y with respect to x. So I'm going to compare my change in y to my change in x. That's what a slope is, rise over run, right? Equals the derivative of 4, which is 0. So what we've just done is I just said, hey, I took the derivative of x here, dx, and I'm going to compare it to the change in x, dx. Well, dx divided by dx is 1, so I'm left with just 2x. And here I have my dy dx. And when we're taking the derivative, the dy dx is what we're solving for. So now that I've taken the derivative, my goal is to isolate my dy dx here. So I'm going to minus 2x over. So we have 2y dy dx equals negative 2x, and then I'm going to divide by my 2y. So my dy dx equals 
negative x over y. And here we can see, once I've taken that derivative, my derivative still has a y variable and an x variable because it depends on both the x and y value. It's going to distinguish between which point I'm taking the derivative of. That's implicit differentiation. So my, quad, or my equation here is reliant upon x and y, so my derivative is. The only thing that's happening here, it's kind of new, this dx dx, we don't have to worry about that because dx dx is always going to be 1. That's always going to reduce out. But we're always going to need that dy dx. So anytime we take the derivative of y, we're going to multiply by dy dx. And then our goal is to isolate our dy dx. Okay, so check back. I'm going to go through a couple of examples. Make sure we understand what we're doing.